Hello, thanks for joining me. I'm Deegan. This is The Vibe. And in case you stumbled across this and you haven't heard any of uh, anything I have to say or any of the videos, um, because what it, what it is that I do on this video, on these videos, uh, I take all the information that I have received and uh, or experienced and I put it out there in in the world of YouTube and hoping that like water it'll make its way and, and I guess I really shouldn't say I hope because I really don't hope I just make them because it's the truth and then I just trust trust the universe I trust God and 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 that's that. Now, I also know that this information, it's all metaphysical. And it has to do with um, a lot of things I've seen in the past. Very, 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 very far past. Right to the beginning of things um, before we, in we incarnated here on Earth. I'm what they call a channel, I guess. I'm a healer that comes natural. I have these gifts that come natural and they're all bestowed upon me from God. And, um, you know, there's been people that have tried to say this and try to say that. The latest I've heard is false prophet. And I really have to chuckle about that. You know, I think people are just scaredy cats. I, I, I know where it came from. I quoted something from scripture and uh, dumbfounded uh, they couldn't find it and so I think that was a humbling experience that they had and in turn like I said I chuckle um, because I'm not here to conform anybody at all at all but, you know, like, like the Pharisees and everybody else that you're staunch and in righteousness, uh, they get it wrong because they're so righteous, they're wrong. But that applies to everybody, everybody, that applies to everybody. So it's not any particular people and not really anything that, um, bothers me out, out, outside of I think it's important that you need to know this um, because if this is not what you're about then uh, then change that change that channel change this tune um, everything everything I am gonna say is going to be on the up and up and uh, like I said I'm just gonna worry less start talking and uh, one video after another after another after another so I'm not too sure what to call these uh, the, the, the beginning of, of, of this outside of uh, uh, it's it's the truth so help me God okay so um, when I first started making these videos um, I I spoke about jumping into a time frame and and I literally mean that jumping into a time frame uh, with one of the gifts I have um, is the ability to jump into different time frames and um, I can do it by myself I choose not to my guide always pokes fun at me um, um, and I'm the first to declare I'm a chicken shit and I'm really worried that if I don't hit that target of time I don't want to be stuck out there in a limbo I know this sounds like way out there but this is how it is um, uh, so so I always wait for my guide a guide and they are either uh, people um, from from the distant past um, angels guides prophets sages ancients 
uh, uh, <laughs> uh, oh boy, have I got a lot to say. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll this. Okay, so during that time frame, I, uh, I jumped. And I jumped into a time frame where uh, the skies were darkened. Um, the only thing you could really see would be a red and an orange and a yellow. So the sky was red and black. And uh, in the far distant, it was red, orange, and yellow. And we knew that 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 it was a part of the sky so somewhere there was light the world our world like i said um, we were thrown into a darkness we brought this really upon ourselves um karmically because we got to get the vibration right we you know mankind has to get their vibration right and how do we do this and you know i mean everywhere everywhere there is this news that news this news that news in one way shape or another somebody's gonna hang for it um because information is kept at bay uh we don't vibrate or have the understanding that we should as human beings so we really have to you know, go from, you know, the middle to the beginning, the beginning to the end, back back to the beginning, scuffle around the middle, you, you know, fill in the blanks. So there is support, a structure, a skeleton of support, um, and, and this moving forward. Now, now, yes, I am religious in the sense of, I know that God is real. I know Jesus is real. When I say God, I literally speak of a trinity. And the reason I speak of a trinity is not because of any religion. It's because I have been shown. I have been shown our heavenly parents. And I have been shown our who I call our brother from the original mother. And that would be our Lord. And, you know, whether we want to call him Jesus or we want to call him Jesus, or we want to call him Jesus, or we want to call him Yeshua, or Yeshiva. Um, um, he, 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 you know, he uh, is, is, exists. He's very real, really loving, really selfless. And um, I'm here. Um, I guess that's, that's what I was looking for. I was rambling on. I'm here to testify. I'm here to testify to all of this that I'm going to share. Like I said, I've made some videos, um, um, and the, and and I, I'm I'm going to have to address them then talk. Okay, so jumped into this time frame. I looked all around because I did not recognize it. Y you know, I mean. We get a little bit of blue sky, uh, but now it's mostly white and gray because of all the uh, all the all the chem trailing that that goes on and all the pollution. I mean, where I live, where my home is, I always say I look up and I can see God's face, and that's because um, uh, there is no pollution way up there. <laughs> you know, there isn't enough. Um, uh, uh, civilization that is burning up a lot of carbons and I think it's really beautiful because everything is in its raw natural state untouched and and you can absorb the beauty of it I, I live so high up in a mountain that uh, civilization outside of the small e immediate uh, villages, uh, civilization is seven hours, seven hours away. There's no cell, there's no this, there's no that. Um, uh, it, like I, you know, unfortunately, unfortunately, um, uh, hydro made its way up there. And I kept telling them, like, don't. To their dismay, they just could not believe how many trees were gotten rid of and what what their decision 
brought to pass. You know, materialism does a funny thing to people and the fact that you 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 are so way out there you do want to wear the same clothes as people in the city um uh, you, you know have have cell phones and you know have have uh uh landlines and and water and and power electricity and yes, I live that far up. That, okay, having all these things is a big deal. Um, initially, which I'm still attached to, is a um, uh, a, a diesel. It's um, uh, a diesel plant, a small diesel plant. And uh, that's where we get our power. It's expensive as heck. Um, but I'm looking toward... Uh, solar energy and other natural sources of energy um, because diesel is 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 bad for the environment plain and simple okay so we still live in a in a time where we still have you know the sun coming up night you know the moon coming up and and, and even though it is gray and sometimes white, we still have light and, and as close as we could call normal skies <laughs> compared to what they used to be. I jumped in. I thought it was nighttime. And I was looking around going, where, where am I? I was really kind of freaked out. And um, I saw all these people and all these people were praying. Uh, I didn't realize um, that I could be seen throughout my journeys every once in a while. And it was always a huge surprise to me. You know, like huge because for the most part, um, you can't be seen. You could be felt. But because you're jumping time, you can't be seen. Well, there has been a few times where, unbeknownst to myself, I was seen. And, you know, then there was no way for me to back out of this. I mean, note to self, this is real. So, okay. I said, what was going on? And this was after the shift. This was after what had sent the world uh, spiraling. Now, there is um, a couple of different images and, and I have been trying to take these pieces and put them together um, and make the puzzle fit. But I, I, I have to say that there, there is periods of time where I'm, I'm looking at or, or searching for where it is spliced. And what I mean by this is when I finished, when I, when I ended that video, I ended that video in stating that I went into shock because uh, they were hauling mankind um, in cages, transporting them in cages and uh, they were there to work. They were there to mine. Really horrible are the conditions as to what happens to mankind. It, it is so inhumane and so unforgiving that these warnings have to go out there. Now, I'm gonna lay it to you straight. People are really quick to judge and people don't want this information moved around. Either one, um, they're worried about looking like fools. Two, they're spooked. Three, it's easy to escape and say, that's rhetoric, that's bullshit, that's a lie, that person's insane. Yada, 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 right? Right. I'm going to say, hey, listen, if, if, 
if you're entertained by watching sci-fi on the television, then tell yourself this is exactly what I'm doing. Fact remains, you're going to find that you'll be surprised and you'll be prepared without even knowing so. Now, I saw a period, like I said, and I saw men uh, corralled in cages. Now, now, men were super skinny, dirty, filthy, just, just filthy, dirty. Uh, you can even say that there was clothing because, um, uh, you know, you know, when you watch, uh, movies and you've got, um, uh, the slaves that are dirty, kept underground, um, uh, unfed and passing out, uh, dying from dehydration, old age, uh, being worked to death, literally, that's it. That's how it is. That's that's how it was. Now, right here, you guys can go, yeah, pff, bullshit. <laughs> and I'm going to say it'd be really nice if we were that lucky. It would be great if I could say we are that lucky that it is bullshit. We're not that lucky. We're not. Everything is going to be taken out of man's control. And what is, uh, what is taken out of man's control, this is where we as human beings have to wake up really quick. Really, 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 really quick. Really quick. Now, I was shocked and I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. And these fires and the mining and the clanging and human beings being transported. This was a 24-hour continuous way of life. Everybody, everybody was a slave. And nobody, we were, humans weren't important. In, 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 in fact, we were on the same... Uh, same uh, level or same uh, equivalence as uh, a dog. Dog probably had had more more favor than than humans did. Now, when I looked and wondered how the hell did that happen, what you know? I mean, there were some other things that I saw at that point. And when I started asking what the hell, how the hell did this happen? And I literally said that, what, what, what happened here? How the hell did this happen? That I was mortified to see mankind. All of a sudden, boom, I was actually in a cage and I was listening to the conversation that these men were having. I was heartbroken. Men were heartbroken. Men were worn right down. Some were begging, just begging to, to, to just die because it would have been a huge error if they tried to take their life. Everybody knows that. So they were just praying that by chance, by fate, it was their time to go. Before this happens to all of humanity, This happens to people from Judea, Jewish people. They're the first to be enslaved all over again. And the world is going to be in such shock. They're not going to know how to handle that particular situation. They're not. They're, they, they will not believe what is actually happening and, 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 and how did it happen and what caused it because there's a whole bunch of different scenarios that, that are on go. There's a lot of irons in the fire 
and us that that pay attention to politics and to what is going on in the world around us the governments in itself and the restructuring of 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 power and the restructuring of laws and 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 lands and and restructuring of 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 economics uh, um, and even our thought process how how do we get along and move forward when when we are only now getting a hold of of uh, a PTSD because I really think that 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 on a universal scale mankind is actually suffering from that the last 10 years 10 years there's been such an onslaught um, and and that has been unforgivable uh, but if you look at at it as darkness versus light it makes sense and and you really have to take a look at it that way you can't look at it as any other way and the reason is is because there really isn't any other way uh, a really dark sinister energy is about to engulf mankind and the catalyst of this is the solar system that that we've been going through okay because unbeknownst to us we already started to go through this and this is what it is that they're hiding uh, with the chemtrails and uh it's worldwide they're doing it worldwide and because it's worldwide wth what the hell what the hell's going on here 2008 i was shown what was going on in my living room took one step boom i was literally sitting on top of the world literally um uh, uh going this way uh watching planets coming in my direction and i asked what am i being shown here the end of the world uh, am i experiencing this because you want for me to know and understand that the world is going to collide with a planet because I didn't know I I, I mean I wasn't even thinking of it. it was suddenly bang I was up in the heavens um, uh, planets like I said in amongst the stars and the planets and um, and this is what I was shown now uh, the answer to that was no the earth is not going to collide with another planet uh which is really good because otherwise it would be uh, a complete demise of uh, the human race um but they showed me that this event was on the horizon when um i start because these visions and this information um, it it years years of uh, you know one piece another piece another piece another piece because sometimes it would be so overwhelming it would it would throw me um, into a state of depression uh, because mankind really needed to know these things they needed to prepare and they needed to be able to save themselves and what was the most important thing that man needed to stay alive and uh, I am here to tell you it is faith it is the Lord one of the videos I'll explain why it's the Lord and I'm not gonna say one of these videos uh, you know down 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 no I'm talking let's 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 go for broke and say the next 72 hours I'm literally going to explain why Jesus why is he the only way and people are going to go yeah 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 we've heard it blah 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 and i'm going to say no no you haven't because if you're saying that no you haven't and even if you're well read 
regarding scripture. I do know for a fact because I listen and I involve myself. There needs to be a bit of chilling because a few things have been tweaked here and there. Everybody knows that editing has happened when it comes to the books. I'm talking the canon, the Bible. It's been tweaked here and there. So when I say, hey, look, I'm, I, I, I'm hearing testimony. Uh, this is what was given to me. This is what Jesus said. This is what, what I have been shown. Uh, people's very first reaction is false prophet. Um, you know, but like I said, and, and, and if that is what you think, don't stop other people from attaining this knowledge because you, within you, it's not the time for you to get your head around this information. It's not for you at this moment, even though you get to hear it, um, you'll utilize it um, in your immediate future then you'll be able to draw from it and go, ah, got it, got it, got it, got it. Now, the really big goal here, my goal here, my only goal here is uh, your life and your soul. You might go, you don't know me. Why bother? Don't be my freaking savior. I don't need a martyr. I mean, and everybody's got the right to say that. But I also have the right to say what I am saying as well. And if you don't believe in God, or you think, oh, here's that Bible thumping stuff, I'm going to say chill out. Hear me out. Give it an opportunity. Take the time. It's like a chessboard, you know. You know, connect the dots. Connect the dots, because hey, listen. I've been given this stuff. I know this stuff is real. My immediate peeps, my family, they all know that it's real. You know, uh, I don't need to outside of. The Lord came right to me, and said. His exact words. I need for you to help get Jerusalem, Jer Jerusalem ready now. And I said, what Lord? Jerusalem? You want me to help get Jerusalem ready? And he said, yes, I'm coming. Go help and get Jerusalem ready. And I said, I'm on it, Lord. I'm on it. Now, this is as real as you watching this video that I'm making in the here and in the now. And I've also said in my previous videos, um, I'm not going to apologize for who I am. I'm not going to apologize for my gifts. I'm not going to feel bad that, that Christ came to me. That, um, um, and yes, you're going to think, do you know what you are saying? And I'm going to say, Yes, if you see God's face, you are told you're going to perish. One, where I was 17 years old and I, and, and I felt like a real asshole. Why? It's because something so horrible happened in my life. I wanted to die. And God lifted me and showed me. And when I looked at my life, and I looked at my, my life moving forward and what I was thinking and vibrating at that moment, uh, I felt horrible that, that, that I should not cherish the life that was given to me by God. And that's where I said I feel like an asshole, going, oh my goodness, you know, my life means much. 
and 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 I am this is truly a gift to me um, from our Lord uh, why would I feel so horrible that I wanted to end it and in that experience I I quickly matured quickly matured to understanding uh, not so much the dots or the information understanding why I felt so overwhelmed um, I'm gonna say because uh, no nope, between between being born and 17 uh, I guess I was going to really Lord me Lord really Lord do you think I should be the one um, I remember a conversation when I was two going yes I'll remember I'll remember when I go back to earth and I'm an adult I will keep my word and as I was leaving will you remember I said yes I will remember and I was as I was coming back again now his voice was like 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 many waters like many thunders I mean it was it's a sound that it's 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 so hard his voice is so hard to describe um it is like many waters and and many thunders and well you remember and i said yes yes i will remember and i do i remember absolutely everything everything and the experiences i've had um uh well it, it, you know some people are gonna say uh i'm gonna call her bluff uh and say this rhetoric or i heard this crap before and there's never any proof never any proof you know what i've given more people proof truly truly that non-believers were completely completely converted they made that decision right then and there because they could not believe what their eyes were seeing I told them the same thing I'm going to tell you God is real if I had to describe myself and this came to me um, um, from my middle child uh, he related um, um, experiences and it, well, he said hey mom check this guy out <clears throat> All the experiences that you that you say you have because I taught them everything um, he did too mom and I thought it was really interesting because um, uh, while I was going from church to church to church to church to church uh, so so not to find that unhealthy spirit uh, I asked who's Enoch and they said well, we don't want to talk about Enoch and uh, it, you know he's just a character and God himself it's black magic and yeah yeah yada, yada and I thought what what then 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 and then all of a sudden his name disappeared <laughs> you know and I'm like what are you talking about you know God liked Enoch from what I knew so I was taught the very same way lift in the spirit I was taught in the heavens it's as simple as that I, I, I agree to incarnate for this very purpose because humanity, humanity, a humanity as a whole is just balancing itself, the human race, just balancing itself. And if man will not change its attitude and put themselves in a position where they're sure footed on level ground and not just doing a balancing act, we can actually make such a difference that it will have this ripple effect and the outcome to that is that humanity survives and 
this is a message that needs to be remembered. This is a message that needs to be way out there. Because between uh, uh, Satanists, trafficking, uh, uh, presidents, politics, religion, um, uh, diseases, uh, 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 technology, uh, all of it. If we don't understand our part in this and we continue to automatically label and shut down, this is where humanity fails. Now, you can watch it happen and you can go, well, the person was a Christian, uh, so why did these that state themselves uh, be above them and be above God? It's repeating itself and repeating itself and repeating itself. And it's very sad, but there's a lot of people that in their, in their preaching of the word have become judges, the hangmen. And I say, uh, you're becoming what you hate or you've become what you opposed. Which brings me to say, men's hearts grow cold. I believe that's in Matthew. Men's hearts grow cold in these times. And this is exactly what's happening. Exactly. So, and there's going to be a lot of testimony. A lot of, a lot of testimony. And the reason is, is after you've lost everything, including your mind and your heart disheartened even though you're alive it's going to be hard initially to say thanks because the enslavement happened before the catalyst that set off the dominoes but then it was going to be the whole world was going to be in that situation. And like I said, the first uh, uh, and the attack is on the Jewish people is Israel. Definitely. I've seen it. I've been there. They've shown me. And I, you know, I quickly looked around and that's where I'd seen that there was martial law worldwide. No country trusted, no country. Which, which another one in my videos, I did say that uh, people are gonna go, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, I don't wanna hear it. I really don't wanna hear it. I'm here to tell you the truth. Let it be story time, let it be what, what whatever. Just know that this is the truth, truthfully, truthfully. The proof will always be in the pudding and that's, that's the way that, 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 cookie is going to crumble so first things first okay um, uh, and 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 the first thing first I'm going to bring you to how mankind was caged like animals caged like animals you know um, <laughs> And it's all because humanity didn't keep its power. And the reason humanity didn't keep its power, because they were so quick to judge. There was no unison. People were tearing, humanity was telling, tearing itself apart from the inside. So not only was there enemies, but, but, but the people that are supposed to be supportive just for the sake of humanity. It still didn't happen. Until, 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 until. It was so bad. Everybody searched for truth. Everybody searched for God. People were seeking people with vision, with gifts. Now, there's some shysters that I saw, 
that are going to falsely prophesy for a piece of clothing, for a, a, a small piece of bread, uh, uh, possibly a drop of water, because I'm going to say good luck to that. If they lied, I saw people jumping and 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 beating these false prophets to death because they weren't going to take it anymore there was no room for lies anymore now i don't think anybody should kill anybody but the angel showed me Yes, I was mortified. I was just mortified. I just could not believe that, that A, uh, mankind, because they are so divided, we're, we're, we're enslaved. We're enslaved. There was so much blood, so much bloodshed, so much control. Uh, you know what? three and a half years and hell hell is going to look like a holiday hell actual hell is going to look like a holiday in comparison to what happens above on top of the world here the living on top of the land not in the world because what's in the world comes out and by and by uh giants because what they did was they tweaked dna and so they turned these giants um into into uh an army all on its own secret weapon yeah they will be unleashed and that they're going to use that them i should say um uh, and i got that when i was taken um uh, again in flight i was taken to um, underground bunkers and i saw that a colonel um was was um taken there they were walking fairly wide and uh he he was going to be shown this and he went into shock. He stuttered as, as I stutter and went, the world needs to know about this. People need to know about this. And it's very taboo. I wouldn't know about it if, if I wasn't taken there by, by, by the Lord sometimes, um, angels other times. Um, I just, I just say heaven and whole. It, you know, because I am lifted and brought there and lifted and, you know, school up in heaven. And, I mean, they showed me everything. And, and we have to get our heads around everything in order for us to stop being divided and do the right thing. And that is wake up, smell the coffee. Let's go through scripture and teach it right. Let's have it so everybody understands. Okay, let's remove all the religious jargon and just get down to bare facts as to what is what. And so this way here, we don't fall into, into anything. We don't fall into anything. We go inward and we find God because God is within us. He dwells in us. So, not only is there a physical aspect to God, but he, he has the ability to dwell in us because we have the Spirit of God. Hence, creation. He blew life in through our nostrils. So that means we're constantly connected. So everybody can hear everybody we're all made to hear we just need to be fine-tuned we need to get rid of all the rhetoric 
all the garbage that has been around since the beginning of time. Let's just, you know what, that's exactly what Jesus was doing. Just tear it right the heck down. Because all the confusion was bringing people to death. That's all it was doing, was leading them to death. Outside of that, which also means death, people were judging. People were judging and, and insisting, making calls like, uh, they're telling you how you can love God and what is the right way of loving God. Like I've had people say to me, um, uh, uh, who are you that God should present himself or Christ should present himself that he would talk to you? And my reply to this very day is, ask Moses, Elijah, Aaron, Jonah, Joshua, ask, 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 ask why did God talk to them ask my brothers Enoch ask my brothers why God talked to them and then you'll understand why God talks to me and I hear him and I see him yes oh, and oh by and by never is very real very 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 real that is actually the catalyst and I really mean this Okay, because all of this is going to happen when it's very unexpected, very unexpected, very. I'm going to say, hey, look at Nibiru does not hit us, but asteroids do. Now, with the asteroids... A third of humanity will perish, but not all of humanity. And the humanity that survives need to be informed. Okay, because I'm gonna I'm gonna be really blunt. Um, uh, <laughs> there's there's not gonna be cell phone service. There is not going to be internet. There is not going to be anything like that. It, you know, I mentioned somewhere um, uh, in a chat, uh, smoke signals. I was very, 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 very serious because there's going to be a lot of people, two thirds that are going to survive in all these different countries. And if there's no means of communication, at least in their countries or provinces or states you will know that somebody else is alive now we have to worry about a couple of things uh radiation people aren't talking about radiation very much okay they're not people aren't telling you you need a gas mask you need different filters and you need it we all need it all of us you know how grateful i feel knowing this even if you don't believe me i know my kids will survive i know my grandchildren will survive i know that the people that 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 know i love them and trust me know that they'll be given the truth and, and, and they will survive. And that's a fact. That's a fact. Now, it's going to be up to you as to whether you accept these videos as truth. Because it's now the time where I just have to say it the way that it is. From when I started making the videos till now, I've had to be extremely gentle. And I've had to... Uh, not draw too much heat to myself <laughs> because if you really, 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 really knew, yeah, you'd be listening to these videos. But that'll happen in time. It'll happen in all due time. And I pray 
that that you did share because you're going to feel like a real son of a you know what or daughter of a you know what now i'm talking do do you know you're going to ask yourself why didn't you say something why didn't you say something why did you not share at least a little bit of it if information if you at all care at all about not only yourself but the human race that is people that you know and don't know people that you love and 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 love the human race because they are people and people matter don't be that person that has that regret and by and by I would take absolutely everything I say very serious because you have no idea how vulnerable I'm putting myself in what position I'm putting myself and if you knew like I said so I'm gonna wrap this up uh, because I think time's just about up yeah it is so um, share it give it a thumbs up so it can start to circulate and uh, do yourself a favor and sub subscribe not for me you don't need to you don't need to I really have validation uh, so that's no sweat but subscribe so you can attain this information and uh, uh, you can share it with people that you love and people that you care I am going to just promptly make another one keep it rolling and um, until then I bid you an adieu and as always I'm going to say ciao Mare. Ciao, ciao. I'm Dean, and this definitely is the vibe.